Revelio. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Incendio. You're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Incendium. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see... We were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. 
I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Rebellion. Incendio! Revelio! These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio! This must be the entrance to the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Incendio! Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. <laughs> Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Oh. Oh. Lumos. Oh. 
Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Rebellion. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Can't Rebellion. imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Have you found anything to, uh, prove- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in Duncan for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. Thank you. 
bother me. I swear. Good. I'm sure they likely hadn't heard the house called, that's all. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. <laughs> it's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. 
and those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells? Spells are free. Give it a try. I shall pretend I cannot see you. There was nothing after the wall. If I can see you, the prefects might be able to as well. Blast! The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Is someone there? 
there? Is that you, Peeves? So difficult after all. How to find that book? Revelio. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost. Don't let her see you. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. Revelio! It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my Rebellion. twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted set? The Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne. No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. If you're... Can't you leave us to waft about in peace? Out of here with you! So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can Rebellion. return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. 
Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Revelio. Him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Lumos. Rodego. Lumos. Revenue. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Lumos. 
Revelio. Might this lead? Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Not surprising, guards at the ready. Revelio. This must be the way forward, but to where?
here. Let me also. Is a book after all. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year, I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? 
the whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morkanak. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Rebellio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Thank you. 
Mercy. I'll go stay up for later. Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio! Incendio! Let me answer! Nicely done! Incendio. Good one. Accio. Levioso. Accio. You'll get it. Incendio! Let me go so. Accio! Incendio! That's it! Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. 
Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um... Uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <sighs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repairer! 
I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get stuck. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses. Disney's restorative properties make it... The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs>